All right, so this is going to be um, an intro video on how to use sketchpad.app. That is the website, sketchpad.app. So um, in here, you'll come in, you'll kind of have this like blank screen when you come in. Hit the plus sign over here, and that's how you make a new artwork. Underneath that, there's an open. So if you've um, saved artwork made in Sketchpad, you can open it here. Underneath that is the export button, and that's how you save work from Sketchpad. Um, and this is the settings button. And the most important thing in here, though, is to this plus, and that's how you make a new one. Um, you can choose any of these that you want. Um, I choose. I tend to choose something kind of medium size, so like 12, 1280 by 800. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit create. There, in here, there's um, blank, grid, graph paper, isometric. All of this is meant to kind of mimic different types of paper you can draw on. Um, I prefer blank or transparent. Either one works fine. So I'm going to stay with transparent because that's where I am. I'm going to hit create. So over here, this tool is a select tool. This is the crop and resize tool. This is this tool is right, right now for me as the eraser, the third one down. Yours will probably say um, like tile brush or mirror brush or calligraphy or paintbrush. This is all the different brushes you have. These are fun brushes. They really are. Like tiles fun, mirrors fun, calligraphy is fun. But like in the end, what you'll do is paintbrush, pen, pencil and streamer are the ones you'll pro probably use the most. The other things are fun and go ahead and try them out. But personally, I find them kind of cheesy and unless you're like really thoughtful about the way you use them, they don't use it really well. So in other words, the third one down is where you can pick the tool you're gonna use. Once you've chosen that tool, you have different blend modes, which will make sense as you start to add layers in here, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Um, this is the, the fill, meaning this is what the inside of the shape that you're making is gonna be. This is the outline, so this is the shape that the outline of the, the shape is gonna be. And this tells you how thick or thin your lines are going to be. That's the line width. Um, I don't have any kind of specific help here. This is just kind of up to you how you wanna use this. Um, I'm gonna change the fill just for the sake of what we're doing, just so you can see what it is that we're doing. Underneath that, mine says star, but yours might have a completely different thing. Um, but this is just different shapes you can use in order to make what you're going to make. I'm gonna choose the right, right, um, the, ah, uh, sorry, the um, triangle. Um, and again, I'm gonna choose a different fill than an outline. This, this allows you to see what the kind of line width is gonna look like. And this allows you to create a hole in the middle and that's what the cutout is. Underneath that is clip art. You can use it if you want. You can. This is how you get images into here. Um, so you can load your own image if you've taken a photo. They also have a whole bunch of images in here you can use as well. And they're fun. They're kind of like little stickers you can add on to things. They're fine. Um, this is how you can add text into your image. That's what the T stands for. This is all the different fonts you have access to, which is actually quite a bit of different types of fonts. Um, and this allows you to choose what the fill is going to be. Is the outline gonna be different than the fill? Um, this allows you to kind of decide how that font's gonna look, where it's gonna be placed. All this stuff is really fun to play with and to see what it does. And this is a vector fill, and this is where it allows you to um, create um, gradients. So you can create something that kind of looks like shading is happening. Um, so I'm just going to start with the pencil tool. So the pencil tool, I'm going to, and see as I'm making it, it actually like fills it in as I'm going. You have to really think about what you want this to look like. Something else you can do if you don't like that, you can actually turn the outline off. All right, come on. There you go. If you click the little dot, it turns the outline off. And then you can draw what you want to draw. Another thing that you can think about doing is turning the out, keeping the outline on, but turning the fill off. And that allows you to 
draw a shape. And this is where that fill comes in because now I can come in here. Oop. Then that means I did not close that shape. If I go like this and it doesn't fill just this in, that means I didn't close that shape. Because like, see how it works here, but it didn't work here. It means I didn't close that. So what I need to do is I need to zoom in. It looks like I closed it. So let me kind of come in here. Sometimes you have to like really intentionally close the shape. And let's see if that worked. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, that's why I don't often. Uh, there we go. I had to click on the the line. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So this is. the basics of how to use this um, of, of these things over here over here as you've seen this i've already done this this is the zoom the cool thing about sketchpad is every single thing i just did is a different layer so i can uh, i can like choose not to see that layer i can choose to throw away that layer by right clicking on it where's the by clicking on it and then clicking these three here and i can actually delete that layer but then you can also do things like if i wanted to i could um duplicate that layer so i can now make two of them right um i could i could copy it and then i could paste it and it's kind of like duplicate but i can make multiples of them so the layers tool is really fun. Like it's great because it allows you to do a lot of stuff. You can actually come in here now. I can edit that fill and I can decide where I want this to be. I can what angle I want it to be. All that stuff. So the layer tool is full of stuff. It allows you to if you click on a layer, it then allows you to come in and just like all the different ways of organizing your layers. Really cool. This is the history button. So it allows you to see everything you've done. And if I want to, I can click all the way back to the beginning and start all over again. If I want to, I can just go part of the way in. So that's what that does. And this is just a regular undo button. So it makes you it undo does everything you've just did. So um, layers, zoom, history button, undo, redo button. That's what all of the buttons in here do. Um, now I'm going to show you here's select. I'm going to take this. I'm going to move this up here. And remember, I was talking about in here. There's this like blend mode. Well, you can do that same thing in here with this one. Yeah. So now I can choose. If I choose this here, I can actually now change my blend mode. And they do different things. So they um, so it kind of affects how it looks on top of something else. You can also, I'm just going to set it back to normal. The, um, you can also set the opacity on these. So you're going to click here. Where is it? Maybe I have to do it in here. No. I thought there was a way to set the opacity, but I guess not. This is how you can choose more colors than are available here is by clicking this button here. Oh, okay, yeah, I was right. Okay, so what you can do is you can you just double click in there and you can change the opacity of the thing you're making. I thought there was a slider bar, but there's not. Um, and it changes how much you can see through it. So that's also something kind of fun to do. Um, while you're in here, if you want to, you could actually fully change even the outline of it by changing which tool you're using. But yeah, so this is once you click on the thing, all this stuff happens up here and you can change everything. Um, the options tool is a lot like in what you saw in the layers tool. Um, and then this is so you can delete that layer if you want to. It's a lot of information. But I'm going to run through it real quick. Select tool, crop tool. This allows you to choose how you're going to be drawing, what one of these you're going to use. This is your shape tool. This is your clip art tool. This is your text tool. And this is your fill tool. This is how you make a new document. 
This is how you open a document that you've already made. This is how you are can save your document. And this is where you can choose some setting stuff. You can store it into your Google Drive, which is kind of cool. What it does is it asks you to sign in and it'll save it directly in your Google Drive, which is cool. Um, and if you do auto save, it'll auto save it into your Google Drive. Um, let me go back into what I was just making. Um, over here is our layer tool, and this allows you to see what your layers are, but then you can also use the options. Once you have a layer, you can use your options to change things about that layer. You can um, group your layers. This is also where you can put a picture into here and make it a layer. This is where you zoom. This is where you can look all the way back through your history and decide where you want to start over. This is so that you can undo what you last did and redo what you last did. So if you undo something you didn't mean to, you can undo it instead. Um, <coughs> oops. That's everything you need to know about just like basic SketchUp stuff.